हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू इंग्लिश क्लास डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कॉन्टिन्यू द सेम चैप्टर द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज अ पैक विद द सन फ्रॉम द बुक अ पैक विद द सन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कम्प्लीट द चैप्टर एंड येस वट वी हैव रेड येस वी वर रीडिंग अबाउट सईदास मदर हु वॉज वेरी सिक एंड शी हैड कंसल्टेड टू to many physicians but all in vain yes uh, she got uh, not uh, recovery and finally she had consulted to a specialist and he prescribed some medicine and also instructed her to leave the dark hall room and shift into a bigger room with open windows he also told to sit in uh, sun every morning so uh, these were the points which we have already read now the next uh, part of the chapter so uh, last what we have read there was no sun really except for its large remnant entangled in the lot of branches of the family mango tree so we were reading that uh, as the uh, specialist had told had instructed to say this mother to sit in the sun but the next day for next some days there were no sun only clouds were there okay so uh, only some few dim lights sun lights they have observed one uh, e evening time okay so it was not the correct time uh, to come and sit outside so now the next one and here uh, we are reading on page number 30 third para of this page now children have at their command a secret language foreign to grown ups altogether in which they fluently communicate with trees flowers animals the sun and the moon perhaps even with the almighty using that special language saida addressed her remark to the last departing ray of the sun dearest sister do come tomorrow with lots of warmth and brightness you see my mother is ill and needs your help so in this para the writer was saying that uh, uh every uh, pers every child every kid on this earth have their own uh, kind of language right a secret language okay uh, which kind of secret language in which we used to speak to with our uh, all the natural things okay like uh, you can see here but they have written foreign to grown ups all together in which they fluently communicate with trees flowers animals the sun moon perhaps even with the almighty means in even in their own language they used to talk they used to communicate communicate means to talk with each other okay they used to talk with friends uh, sorry trees flowers all non living things okay so they are talking about those things which uh, can't reply to you right from which we cannot get the correct reply as we are getting from the humans but still all the children uh, have this potential to communicate with the trees flowers animals in their own language and perhaps even with the almighty almighty means god right so the children have a special communication language in which they talk to trees flowers animals the sun moon and even god using that special language saida address prayed here address to remark to the last departing rays of sun last departing rays of the sun means last sun rays of the evening time okay afterwards the sun will be yes the sun was going to be set right uh, in the west so saida prayed to the rays of sun to come tomorrow with greater warmth and brightness as her mother was ill and she needed their help here is saida and she is praying surely answered the light don't look unhappy we will be here at the fixed hour okay now as she is uh, she was praying to the rays to the sun rays at that time surely answered the light the one of the sun ray answered surely means for sure they will come to, don't look unhappy don't be sad we will be here at a fixed hour so the light rays of the sun replied to her prayer and assured her that they would come at a fixed time and asked her not to be unhappy next uh, next day 
early in the morning when the uh, sprightly sun rays embellished themselves for their journey down to earth the sun set it's our day, it's our day off again we are staying up here the road to earth is blocked by an army of thick mucky clouds the little rays so much wanted to go down for a lark but they remained quiet so what happened next day as uh, they have uh, one of the rays uh, of the sun uh, promised saida that they, they will come tomorrow positively so what happened next day when bright energetic sun rays got ready to come to the earth the sun set here you can see sprightly sun rays embellish themselves for their journey means uh, the bright energetic sun rays ready to come to the earth the sun set it's our day off again day off means holiday okay so the sun said that they would not go to the earth as the way to the earth had been blocked by the clouds it was their off day it was their holiday because we are staying up here why we are staying the road to earth is blocked by an army of thick mucky clouds as we uh, know that if there are clouds in the sky then we cannot get sun rays so on that day uh the sun was saying that uh, the earth as the way to the earth had been blocked by the clouds the little rays so much wanted to go down for a lark but they remained quiet as they have promised so the, all the sun rays uh hearing this the rays kept quiet for some time but one of them spoke to so they all uh, wanted to go to the earth but they remained quiet one of them though who had made a pact with little saida said sir i can't stay back i have given my word to saida those mother is whose mother is ill and needs our help i'll peer through the clouds to reach saida's courtyard how else will her mother be cured hearing this all the rays nearly staged a revolt against their father the sun fancy staying back again they said in a single voice what will the people of the earth say about us that we of the heavens have turned liars okay so this para you will get on the page number 31 yes the last line one of them though who had made a pact fit little saida said okay so uh, as uh, they remain quiet but what happened uh, one of them spoke to their father the son that they had made a pact with saida as she had promised to her so i can't stay back i have given my word to saida i have promised to saida whose mother is ill and needs our help so uh, she was giving the reason that saida's mother was not feeling good and they both need our help i will peer through the clouds to reach saida's courtyard and she was saying that she would peer through the clouds to reach saida's courtyard means that she will uh, just cut down the cloud and yes reach to saida's home how else will her mother be cured because there is not any other treatment for her mother and she will not be get uh, well soon hearing this after hearing uh, this uh, commitment of the ray all the rays nearly staged a revolt against their father the sun so what happened or otherwise how would her mother be cured to this all the rays stood against the sun unanimously and they argued that if they stay back the people of the earth would consider them as liar fancy staying back again they said in a single voice that they will not stay back they will move to the earth because if we will not go then people of the earth say about us that we are the liars that we of the heaven have turned liars we become liars because yes because we have promised and it is our duty to fulfill the promise if we will not go to the earth and if we will not move there then all the people of the earth would yes tell us liars so all they have a uh, revolt against their father the son relented please yourself he said mind your clothes though the clouds are mucky sorry the clouds are mucky so what happened relented to get softened in feelings now the uh, 
son was also feeling good and uh, saying agreeing with their points that the sin was a little softened and told them that the clouds were very heavy so they must control themselves he even asked them to take care of their clothes to whom he was asking yes he was saying to the sun rays that please take care of yourself because the clouds are very yes hard heavy never mind our clothes we can always change but go we must and the rays rushed towards the earth the clouds stood guard between them and Sarita's courtyard the little rays focused their heat and they had enough of it on a battalion of clouds which had to flee from its post the rays got through shooting past the bewildered clouds they were already late okay so on page number 31 i am reading okay so listen carefully so the sun rayed rushed towards the earth saying that they didn't mind their clothes as they cloud as they could always change them uh, what is the meaning of uh, clothes here here is the meaning means as we can see sometimes they are of white color sometimes of red color sometimes of black color so they are saying that don't don't uh, just uh, never mind our clothes just don't take tension about our clothes because we can change anytime and they just rushed towards the earth they were in very uh, quick uh, they wanted to do, go there quickly so they were in very hurry the clouds stood guard between them and Saida's courtyard so okay uh, the clouds were performing their task and they become the guard between them and Saida's courtyard uh, the little rays focused their heat they just uh, collect their old heat and they had enough of it enough heat with them and on a battalion of clouds group of clouds which had to flee from its spot which uh, just had um, uh, come from their post means from their place okay so they reached the earth leaving behind the puzzled cloud the rays got through shooting past the bewildered clouds they were already late as they were getting late so they just cut down all the clouds with their heat and yes reach there so the little rays focused their heat which was enough to make the cloud free from there the rays reached the earth leaving behind the puzzled cloud as the picture is here okay and we will yeah yes you can see the doll you can see the saida you can see the birds you can see her mother and yes they are caught yeah, then what happened saida saw the whole host of them approaching and her heart leapt with joy she shouted amma amma the sun is here come out the old lady's eyes welled up with tears of gratitude her charpoy was placed in the courtyard and she sat on it for an hour reclining against bolsters it had been months since she had felt the sun on her hands and face and breathed in fresh air she thought she was in a new world though pale her face glowed and her eyes shone bright she saw her child to bath bathed in sunlight and kissed her the morning air brought in a new fragrance from nearby flowers the birds chanted a new tune saida's mother felt better already so as who sun rays approached sun rays came to the earth then what happened saida noticed them reaching and jumped with joy she became very happy she called her mother informing her that the son was there okay the old lady was in tears of gratitude she felt with very thankfulness and her bed was placed in the sun where the where she sat for an hour leaning against pillows okay as it is given reclining against bolsters means leaning against pillow it had been months okay it was after months that she was able to feel the sun and breathe fresh air she felt as if she had entered a new world because after a month she was feeling all the things not a month many months she was feeling like this okay and uh, warmth of the sun and the fresh air beauty of fresh air beauty of nature and though she appeared weak yes though pale as she was appearing weak her face and eyes showed the shine of hope now she was hoping that she could yes recover soon she looked at her child also basking in the sun and kissed her okay and as she was saying uh, she has seen 
she had seen her child she was also enjoying the sun rays and with this new morning came a new hope a new fragrance chanting of birds and with all this saida's mother felt better and she recovered completely from her illness as and uh, yes what we are getting from this para yes uh, if we are living in the nature and we have a good connection with the nature then we can recover from our illness because the beauty of the nature the chanting of the birds the uh, beauty around us uh, the trees okay the fresh air always uh, filled us with the joy with positive energy so she is fully recovered now but she still follows the doctor's advice an hour of sunlight and lungfuls of fresh air every day as she had recovered but still she is following okay still she was following the doctor's advice what was that an hour of sunlight and lung full of fresh air every day uh, even if we are taking this sunlight we are getting fresh air obviously without medicine we can cure ourselves because many diseases like headache and the suffocation and like depression all these things can be cured by the nature because uh, nature has its own beauty and with the help of nature with um, if we are able to feel the beauty of the nature obviously we can cure from any kind of disease okay dear students i hope you all have enjoyed the chapter and get a good moral about the good health thank you